Yesterday I got my first starter milk chemistry set. I'm so excited to do the first first experiment. experiment. It's called Tin Hedgehog. Wow, let's do it. The instructions for the experiment can be found in the mobile app by Mel Chemistry. The step one here was to mix sodium bisulfate with tin chloride in this tiny bottle over here and cover it tightly with this red nozzle on the top and give it a very nice thorough shake for 30 seconds. The app also gives a timer to track it. Ting 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 ta na 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 ting ting ting. The solution is ready. We are now going to pour the solution in an empty bottle and it would be until half the level of that bottle. Time to pour the zinc palette in it and watch the hedgehog grow. Voila! Would you like to take a closer look at the hedgehog? Let's go closer. Let's go even closer. And here is a clearer picture of hedgehog. The thin hedgehog. <laughs> so Jam, how was your uh, experience with this experiment? Great. Really? So what did you like about it? I liked how this started growing its spikes. Yeah. It's even becoming larger. Do you want to shake it and see what happens? Does it break? Yes, it is. So the zinc spikes are uh, breaking? They're fragile. Okay. So Jam, why the zinc, uh, why the zinc spikes are formed? The zinc spikes are formed because of the tin that we added. The zinc palette is metal. Mm -hmm. So when we add the tin inside, mm -hmm. the electrons inside the zinc palette are coming out and are floating in the solution right now. And the um, SN, the tin that we have added, mm -hmm. is now making a blanket around the zinc palette and the spikes are starting to grow. So are you excited to do more experiments from Bell Chemistry Kit? Yes, this is the next one we're going to do. Or tin dendrite. Great.